Two Sweats first ever YouTube video. You guys, I am so excited to bring this to you. I am Kier Christine, the founder and head trainer here at Babes Two Sweat. And this right here is gonna be your very first workout video that you're doing with us online. So we are so excited to bring this to you guys and really connect our community nationwide. I've got Kaylee and Keisha with me today, and they are some amazing boss babes that I get to call my best friends here in San Diego. I'm gonna let them describe what they do and how it impacts their community a little bit later, but right now, let's get into the work. You guys ready? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Let's do it! Woo! All right, so the first move of the day, we are just gonna get it nice and warmed up. I'm really a big fan of triceps, which means we will do three exercises in a row. So we're gonna start nice and narrow in the middle of our mats. You're just gonna squat it down, narrow squat, stand it up, take it out to the right side, squat wide, stand it up, bring it back to the narrow, and then we're gonna take it to that left. That's it, take it down, up, right. Perfect, center, take it left. Nice work, you guys. Looking good, make sure you squat low, keep that chest up, butt back, weight in your heels. Perfect. We're gonna do two more per side here. Feel those legs heating up yet? Yeah. <laughs> Last one right here. Stay low for me right here, just hold nice and low. See if you can shift your weight back into your heels. Those toes even lift up off the ground. Perfect, hold for five, four, three, two, woo! Feel that burn, right? All right, so, Gentle bend in our knees. You're just gonna reach towards the ground. We're gonna go into a plank position. So reach it down, gentle blend, walk it back. From this position, you're gonna walk your right foot up by your right hand. Perfect, take it back. Left foot up by your left hand. Perfect, we're just gonna keep going with these. We got five per side. Getting into those hips, nicely done. Three more, perfect. Stretch as much as you can, last two. And last one per side, take it right, and then take it left. All right, this time we take that right foot up, rotate up towards the sky, perfect. Other side, take it back, switch it up. And you can take this at your own pace here, so feel free to go a little bit slower if you want that longer stretch, or you can take it quicker if you're ready to warm things up. I want two more per side right here. How those hips feel, ladies? Feeling good. Feeling nice and open. <laughs> Last one here. Bring it back like to that I need plank. To do a stretch every morning. Oh yeah. When you're ready, meet me back in that plank right here. Let's just hold and warm up that core. So squeeze, shift forward onto your toes. Shift feels so good. Four, three, two. Drop those knees down. Y'all ready? Ready to work? Ready. Let's do it. Woo! All right, time for our first circuit, ladies. We are gonna be doing a sumo squat. So let's bring our feet off of our mat. Toes go nice and wide. When you squat down, you wanna make sure that your knees are stacked directly over your ankles. So let's squat it low right here. Perfect, from this position, you're gonna stand it up. We're gonna to turn towards our side, pivot on those toes, lunge straight down. Pick it up, meet me back in the middle, toes wide. Sit low, weight in those heels, and then twist it. Perfect, let's pick up that pace. Center, take it right. Center, perfect, take it left, that's it. Breathe right here. Stay low, find that pivot. The sand's getting tough, y'all getting little divots like I am? Woo! Oh yeah, sit low with it. We've got five more right here. Breathe, sit low to each side, drop that back knee. Four left, stay with it. Come on, feel that burn, I know you guys are. Keep that chest up. This is our last third. We've got two. We're counting per side here, ladies. Breathe. All right, this is our last one. Center, finish it up. Woo! Shake those legs out. Should feel good. Look, <laughs> just creating holes in the sand today. It's great. Now, our next exercise, we are gonna go right into our single leg deadlift. So what we're gonna be doing is placing one foot down, gentle bend in the knee, the other foot's gonna come straight back, flexing those toes towards the ground. You're gonna roll your shoulders back, pivot around and down, and then right back up. Every time I do these, I think of that bird drinking water. You know what I mean? Yeah. So drive your toes towards the ground. As you lift that back heel up, pretend that it is 
tied to your head. So as it comes up, your head drops down, but you are not reaching for the ground. I want eight more per side. Let me see these ladies. Let's go. Perfect. That's it. Drive through that back heel. Gentle bend in that right knee. Nice. Keep that core tight. Chest up. Pulling our shoulders back. There we go. It's okay. That's it. It's your workout. You're allowed to have fumbles. You're allowed to fall. That's the entire point of this. Breathe. Perfect. I want four more. That's it. Squeeze through it. You got it. See if you can tighten up through that core. Remember that bend in your standing leg is going to stabilize you. Give me two more right here. Perfect, Keisha. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, give me that last one. We're gonna meet on that other foot. Plant it down, shake that leg out when you're ready. Roll the shoulders back. Let's start anew. Drive back with that heel. Woo! Squeeze and right back up. So from this side, what this looks like is we are driving that heel up, nice and tight, slow and controlled. You're lengthening down that hamstring, keeping the core tight, pulling those shoulders back. So throughout this entire exercise, as you can see, you're unstable. If this is something that's challenging for you, it's okay. It's going to be if you've never done something like this before. So as you can see, it doesn't matter how advanced you are, we all shake and stumble. The body has all those little twitches to find its own balance. That's what's gonna make you stronger. So stay with it. When you find those little places of discomfort, see if you can stay a little bit longer in it. Breathe through. Give me two more per side, ladies. How are we feeling? Good. Yeah. Finish it up. There we go. All right, Mimi Center, shake those legs out. This is our little cardio burst to the end. So it is two exercises, strength base, followed by a little bit, getting that heart rate up. So plant your palms. We've got mountain climbers. You ready? Let's go. Down in that plank position. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. As quick as you can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Woo, we got puppies. Hi. <laughs> We've got 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and recover. That is one round. Woo! We've got some friends wanting to join us today. Little puppies on the beach, I love it. All right, crew, we are gonna go through that two more times. Are you ready? I'll do it with you guys, I promise. Shake it out, two more times. Let's do this thing, feet nice and wide. Find your space. This time there is no break. We're going right into it. You have the sumo squat to lunge per side, followed by our single leg deadlifts, 10 per side, and then mountain climbers for about 20, 30 seconds. You choose, just do them as long as you can until you can't do them anymore. We good with it? Ready. Now let's breathe, sit it low, let's go. Squat, take it up, lunge right. Squat, take it up, lunge left. Let's do this, that's one. Breathe. There's two. A weight is in your heels. Remember, we're pivoting on our toes here. So we need to stay focused that that leg is moving. So if you're not on sand, it might not be this easy. If you're at home in some socks, it might be hella easier because you can slide a little bit. Now, if you're at somewhere like the gym or on sneakers on a hardwood floor, it's gonna be a little bit tougher to pivot. So please, 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 watch your feet and your knees to stay safe. Is anyone counting back there? No? Two more. You're like, nope, we ain't got it. Give me last one right here. Woo! Those thighs are on fire today. I didn't know I was gonna work out with y'all. That is it, shake them out. Finish that squat. All right, this is our single leg deadlift. So I'm gonna stand back here and do it with you guys. Right foot plants, left foot back, let's do it. Pull those shoulders back, breathe. There's one. Now, if you want that added challenge, you can bring that knee up in front. If you want a little bit of a modification, you need that balance, you can just bring that knee and tap down. That's totally fine. There's three, I want seven more right there. Perfect. Find that balance challenge at the top, ladies. Squeeze, there we go. These are already so much better, can you feel it? There we go. So your muscles will start to remember these movements. They'll get a little bit easier over time because not only is your body getting used to them, but your body remembers how to do certain things 
and then you'll start to become efficient at those things. Is that 10? Yeah. We're in 10? All right, left side, let's go. Pull the shoulders back. We cheated. It's okay. We cheated. Let's go. Woo. And squeeze it up. Now, if you're like me, I like to fake that last rep. If I'm going to fall and just flip that foot down. So that's totally fine. I want you guys to get comfortable with these routines. So whether you're at your house, whether you're at a local park, whether you're at your gym watching this on your phone, your iPod, your iPad, your iWatch. Can you watch videos on there? I don't know. Probably, Probably these days. I took a call the other day during one of my classes accidentally, so I need to not do that anymore. <laughs> All right, ladies, how many more? Two? Dang, I thought I was good at that. I'm getting better at counting, I promise. Now remember, we're driving through that back foot. Reach long, pull your shoulders back. So this is great if you're one of those people that loses your balance a lot, if you're like me and you've broken your ankles a lot, Kaylee, how's your ankle? I know you had some injuries. It's just mainly stability is a problem on this exactly. leg. Exactly. Like it keeps wanting to roll out more, so I'm like a lot more shaky on this side. But it's good because it's making you squeeze more, right? There we go. All right, let's finish these up, ladies, and then we're going to meet in those mountain climbers. Finish number 10. Hands down. You ready? Let's go straight into it. 30 seconds. Let's go. 30. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. How fast can you go? How fast can you go? Come on, come on. There we go. You guys sweating yet? <laughs> We've got 10, 9, 8, 7. Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Drop those knees. Woo! One more full set. Damn. We're almost there. We're almost there. Woo! I'm sweaty. Let's get this thing. All right, roll those mats back. I gotta move mine just a little bit. Need some room for these sumos. We're getting straight into it this time. You ready? In three, in two, let's do it. Drop low, take it right. Breathe. Make sure those shoulders are stacked back. See if you can engage the core just a little bit more here. Nice. Weight is always in those heels, trying to get that back knee down as much as you can. Perfect, Kaylee. Nice, Keisha. I like the running man arms there. I like it. I like it. Woo! Let me see this form. Let me see this form. Perfect. I want to be behind you guys so I can look at you do it. I get to see the booty from the back. All right. I want two more each side. Let's go. Right? Nice job. Right down to the center. Left. Now, I want those knees to push out wide towards your pinky toes here. So when you're in the middle, push those knees back. There we go. Do you guys feel that difference? Focus on that pull back and that squeeze. Shake it out. All right, here's our favorite one. Those single leg deadlifts, 10 per side. Right foot down, left foot back. Shoulders rolled back. Let's get it. Breathe. Are you guys right side dominant? Yeah. yeah. Except on these. I feel like I'm a little awkward on both sides, but I'm getting better. Here's the thing though. That's what makes you you. So you're not awkward. You're just figuring out your body still, which is totally fine because that's what we're on this earth for, right? We got to figure out how to move, how to breathe, how to do the things, what we're here for. Yeah. So I like to do my body in any way possible. That includes being really weird as hell. And uh, a lot of dance parties, whether yeah. it's in the cycle bar or in my room or in my car or, you know, on Instagram, that's cool too. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Two more? Was I right this time? Yes. I'm right this time. Almost there, almost there, you guys. Breathe. You should all be super sweaty by now. I am, and I'm only half doing this thing, so I know these two ladies are. I love that I can get them to come with me. Let's go, left side. Drive that right heel back, core tight. Pivot through the hips, and then squeeze up. So this is all about that hinge, right? It's not a squat down, you are hinging, and then squeezing at the top. So I want that little booty squeeze at the top. Really, really focus as you drive that heel back, you're lengthening your hamstring. And then as you squeeze forward, you should feel all the way up to your butt, that whole area, the back of your thigh is tightening to bring you higher. Now, if you start to feel this in your low back at all, I really urge you to invite that generous bend into your knee. So from the side, you are going to be right here. Generous bend, protect your low back and squeeze up through that hamstring, okay? Core is always tight, bracing that spine, shoulders rolled back. 
Can we finish with 10? One more? She's like, mm. I don't know. <laughs> Last two? We're almost there. Keisha's like, and we're done. The last mountain climbers, let's go. Hands down right away, come on. And we got 30. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now I know these two ladies could go so much longer because I've seen them both work out with you before, but we're just doing 30. But if you at home want to take this to a little bit more of a challenge, we've got five, four, three, two, drop those knees. Nicely done, you guys. How are we feeling? Good. Hot. <laughs> Let's get it going. Oh my God, it feels so good, you guys. We have a legit the La Jolla Shore, like all around, it's beautiful. All right, time for circuit two. We've got more legs coming at you. So with this one, we are gonna do a lateral to curtsy lunge, followed by a surfer burpee, and then we are gonna end it out down on our mats, giving me frog pumps. So feet are gonna come together, those hips are gonna pump straight up. So it's a lot of booty today. You guys sore yet? Ready. A little bit, a little bit. We're nice <laughs> and sweaty out here, so I hope you guys are too. All right, so start with those feet together, right in the middle of your mat. We're stepping behind because those mats are super sandy out here. So you guys at home, you're more than welcome to stand on and just go laterally. We're going to go out to the side, stepping that right foot out, squat straight back, your butt goes down. Come center, tap that foot. You're going to step behind you to a curtsy lunge. Come back center. That's it. That's one. Take it out. Center. Take it back. Perfect. So for this, I want you to think of that leg stepping out into your lateral lunge as a squat. So your butt goes straight back. Make sure that you're not jetting that knee out. You really want to focus on pushing it back. Cool. Give me five more. That's it. Now for your curtsy, you want to make sure that you're stepping back at that angle. So don't focus too much on going laterally. What you really want to focus on is driving back and dropping that knee out. It should go about right behind that ankle. Perfect. One more right here. That's it. Woo! Was that our last one or one more? Ah, whatever. We'll finish it up. All right, we're going to get that other side. I want to watch you too. Let's do this. I'm coming behind. Take it to the left. Take it center. Give me that other side. Perfect. Keisha's back here slipping all over the place. All right, so remember, guys, we really, really want to focus on that knee. So, perfect. One leg is straight in our laterals. Amazing, ladies, keeping that chest up. Weight in our heels always. Nice. I hope you guys at home can feel this. Can you ladies feel it? Yeah. So good, so good. So today I brought them out and I did not tell them what we were doing before they got here. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna do legs. <laughs> I knew they'd be into it though. They're always into it. So I always love legs. I know, she, she comes to my classes at Renegade. If you guys are local to San Diego, you are more than welcome to come in and take a class. We do three for free. You can always come at Cycle Bar as well. Those are the two places I teach here, besides teaching you lovely ladies. I okay. feel like we've done 10. <laughs> I know, I don't know I what you guys are doing. Counting, but I'm like, I feel like this is a lot. Here's the thing, we'll just it going. doesn't matter. It's your workout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go, surfer burpees. All right, hands down on the mat. Pop those feet back. You're gonna pop your feet up right outside your hands. Lift those hands up, stay low. Just like a surfer on that board. Let's go, back, take it up. That's it, perfect. Stay low with it. Nice, look at that hair flip. Ooh, on point. Ooh. I like it, I like it. So the key here is you want those feet outside of your hands, nice and wide, so when you come up, you get to stay low in it. So if you at home have tight hips and you're not able to come up, that's okay. You don't have to bring your feet that far up, but I do want you to come up to that squat. So even if your feet are really far from those hands, that's okay. Stay low in that squat. We did 10? Yeah. Perfect. Last one, let's go, lay it down, feet together. All right, bring those feet in. Shake out those hands if you got Sam like me. Now, you're gonna pump your hips straight up. Your feet are touching each other right here. Plant your palms down, hips to the sky, squeeze those butt cheeks up, and then right back down. I'm sorry, there is no non-awkward way to do this. Squeeze your ass up and then oh, right back down. So the key here, as you can see, is that squeeze underneath. I want you to try to find like a two count hold at the top. There we go. Perfect, ladies. I'm stepping behind. I want to look at this, booties. Just kidding. Bring your heels a little bit closer to your butt. So bring your feet in. Perfect. Now punch up. We're going to keep going. Yeah, you should feel it more. So you can give me that two second hold at the top. 
and make sure it's really the top. So you literally cannot go any further. You should feel a pinch in your glutes. There we go. She's nodding. She's like, oh shit, that's it right there. That's it. It's a little bit harder. So these are killer. If you guys do sets 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s of these, I swear you will start to grow your butt. I promise you. They're especially really, really great to activate in the beginning of a workout or as a finisher at the end of your workout. So ladies, give me two more. Last one right here. We're gonna hold it at the top. Hold, you've got 10, nine, come on, eight, seven, six, five, hold it, four, three, two, shake it out. Woo! Are you ready to do that two more times? <laughs> now, the key to a good workout, you guys, is always to have fun with it. There is no right and wrong as long as your form is good. You don't have to have a lot of weights to get a good workout in. You don't have to take a lot of time. All you have to do is move your body. I'm the biggest fan of daily movement. It does not matter what you do. Get up, get active, get your body moving. So, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Laterals, let's go. Lateral. And give me that curtsy. And remember, weight is in our heels here. Sit that butt straight back. Perfect. Keeping our chest up. Now, the chest will naturally drop throughout this exercise as we get tired. So just make sure that your chest is pulled back the entire time. Shoulders retracted, core is nice and tight. We've got five more, woo! Come on, stay with it. Which side hurts more, the lateral or the curtsy? You don't know? Oh. Both? Both. <laughs> the combo. So it's a switch, right? The dominant leg is in that lateral one, is our right. And then when we go to the curtsy, it turns into our left. Give me one more right here. That's it. Let's get that other side, shake it out. Woo! Left side, plant that foot, let's go. I didn't get any left leg in, you guys. I didn't even do last round. <laughs> I'm gonna have like a really strong right leg in one exercise and left in the other. Now you'll realize you have a more dominant side or a more, I should say, flexible side when we get into this because one side becomes a little bit lower than the other. Especially as you start to get sore, you'll notice you're like, whoo, can't go down, right? So I want you to push through that. Take it slower, find your rhythm. Know that you do not have to move at the same pace as the room, as your friends, as me. It does not matter. You get your workout in. Give me two more. I stopped counting. Did we hit 10 yet? <laughs> Last one. It just feels good, okay? All right, crew, hands down, server burpees for 10. Three, two, let's go. Woo! I'm not doing these. I got my workout in, ladies. I tapped this morning. This one's for you. Now in this, keep that core tight. What we don't want to see is that low belly dip at the bottom. So when you come down, remember you were in that plank and then you are hopping those feet up. So nice and tight on that core. Weight in your heels when you jump up. Nicely done. Lay it down, let's do this. We're gonna rush through these now that we are super sandy. Keeping those feet close to the butt, pump it up. Let's go 20, 19, 18. Come on, I want that squeeze. Woo! Breathe, exhale up, inhale lower. My butt is on fire. <laughs> it should be. Come on, come on. I, you know, got I feel like smoke. this is such a hard area to target sometimes. I know. You feel it though, right? Woo, we got 10 more. Come on, squeeze it up there. Remember, I want that little baby hold at the top. Perfect, you guys at home, can you feel this? Oh my God, it hurts so good. We've got five, come on, pump it up. Four, three, two, and hold with this last one at the top, hold it. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, five, even higher, four, three, two, relax. Woo. Woo. Let's get it. All right, last round. Now that I am Cindy as hell, wearing our nice workout gear to the beach, you know, casual, casual. <laughs> Let's get a crew. Be both planning. We might have some dogs coming in just a second. Give me that lateral to the right. Let's go. Lateral. Give me that curtsy. Breathe. I wish you could guys could see what's going on behind the camera. We've had dogs, we've had families. We've had just about every type of person you could imagine pass by, but that's real life. That's what we gotta work with, right? 
Now I hear all the time that people like don't want to work out in public or at the gym because they have like a fear of working out in front of other people or that they're just nervous, right? Like you might be doing it wrong. I'm here to tell you, you're not doing it wrong. And I promise no one's watching. And if they are, who cares, right? True. I don't care. Stand at center, shake those legs out. Let's go, take it left. Now, I will say, I'm not counting any of these exercises. So if I'm counting wrong, I apologize. I'm completely guessing. Do 10 at home. <laughs> now, I'm lucky enough that I could grab these two ladies and bring them in for a random Wednesday morning workout. It's like 8 a.m. I told them like three days ago I wanted them to work out with me. They had no clue what they were doing, but they were like, yeah, we'll be there. So we're out here on the ocean. It's beautiful. And we're just sweating our asses off. Give me two more. Breathe, you guys. Make sure that form is staying perfect. Last one. All right, let's do this. Hands down, I wanna see them nice and tight. Give me 10, who can finish first? Come on, up, take it back, up, take it back. Now this is where you can race, as long as that core's tight. Take it back, up, take it back, up. This is it, this is it. Come on, ladies. This is what gets your heart rate up. Remember, we have two strength exercises in each set. One to pick your heart rate up, it gets you sweating. It's the whole point, babes who sweat, come on. Woo! All righty, lay it down. This is our last set. Y'all, bring it home with the booty frog pump. Let's get it feet together. We're up in three, two, squeeze it high. You got 20. Squeeze that butt up. Now we had to move our mats for this one crew because <laughs> I was like, we are about to basically just full on crotch shot the camera. So <laughs> we had to change it up for you guys. Hope it's not as awkward from home, but we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. Keep it up there, ladies. Let's do this thing. Perfect. Squeeze at the top. Remember, feet are close to your glutes. At the top, I want the highest pinch you can get, so you cannot give me a centimeter more up. You will feel this one, especially if you've never done this motion before, or if it's really hard for you to activate your glutes. Give me two more. Last two. You guys are on opposite timings. And one, both hold at the top. You got 10, nine, come on, eight, seven, hold it, six, five, four, three, two, relax it down. Oh, amazing work, you guys. I hope you had so much fun following along at home. I hope you followed along at home and didn't just watch this through because that's hella awkward. Anyways, we're gonna grab some water, a quick bite to eat, and we'll be right back to chat all about Boss Babes and community. Bye for now. All right, guys, and we are back. We drank some water, we cooled down, and we are ready to chat with you guys all about community, what these two lovely ladies are all up to and how we guys met each other. Cause it was crazy. Like we have some interesting stories of how we met. So I'm gonna let them introduce themselves and then we'll get into it. So who wants to go first? Hey guys, I'm Kaylee and I am the co-founder of Clear Stem Skincare, co-host of the Balancing Your Hustle podcast and also creator behind my personal blog, KayleeChristina.com. Um, my skincare company is really geared towards all people, men and women, um, that are suffering with acne, typically in their 20s and 30s. Like we do have a wonderful teenage crowd, older women um, and male crowd as well, but we deal with a lot of stress breakouts, hormonal breakouts, controlling the oil production in your skin, all through holistic ingredients, all natural, non-toxic, the cleanest of clean, and it's truly science-backed. We do tons of testing. Um, but why I love owning my skincare company is I love watching women and men find their confidence back. And we've built such a community around people that, you know, have felt embarrassed by their skin, their confidence really decreased. And once they start to see changes, other changes ripple in their life. They start to become um, more passionate about different things. They get promoted in work because they're just showcasing so much new confidence, newfound confidence in their life. And um, I really want to change the world just by continuing to instill more confidence and um, leading people to become more inspired in their own lives. And that's really the purpose behind my skincare company, blog and podcast, all is to teach balance, inspire, um, and really cultivate a community around all three. Yeah. Okay. 
so my name is Keisha Fitzgerald, and I'm the founder of Team Fit Foundation, which is a team of online health and wellness coaches. So my role is kind of unique in that I help women build online part-time businesses, and then I help people kind of like Kaylee said, instill more confidence to take action in their lives. A lot of it's around fitness too, in community. So I also just started a podcast called Empower Her Podcast, which is about the same type of thing of promoting women to take action in their lives. Because I think a lot of times we feel motivated, um, but we don't actually take action. And being motivated and not doing anything doesn't really get you anywhere. So the whole concept behind it around everything that I do is about community as well, which is so in line with Babes Who Sweat and bringing women together because together we can do amazing things. So, so excited. Yeah. So really the whole focus of this is just to find you guys some killer boss babes to come on and talk about what community means to them, how they find community in their life and what they're doing to create it. Because let's be honest, none of us have gotten where we are without community. You can't sit here and tell me that you've gotten where you are in life by yourself, right? right? You've at least had your family. You definitely have some friends that have had your back a time or two. And getting those people around you and truly finding your tribe is what I'm most passionate about. So growing up, personal story, I didn't really have best friends. I are like a best friend. I always had a group, but it was like a couple people. And it was always really hard for me to find true friendship. I felt like I had, you know, like some friends in this group or some friends, but I never had that like one bestie. And I always wanted that. Like I had tons of friends who had that, but I never found that. And it was really just because I had never found anyone that vibed with me, right? Like that same yeah. way, like yeah. you would have like a couple best friends and like they're amazing. And I still have some awesome high school friends Shout out, because they were just in my event last weekend. I love them all so much. And they will always be there for me. That was pretty much my first meeting of community was the five of us. So back in high school and then in college, I was in a sorority. But again, they were the community around me. They weren't my community, if that makes sense. You really, really have to focus in on who it is you are. And I feel like being comfortable in your skin is the first step. So for you guys, I want to know where you find community in your life and kind of what community means to you. Because I know that's my definition, but it might be a little bit different. It's crazy that Instagram really did help me start my community. So I was working a corporate job and I was really bored. I felt like I had lost all passions in my life. I felt very uninspired. But what I did love to do was cook and research about all different wellness things, whether it was alternative wellness practices or incorporating superfoods and different supplements and seeing how it could change your life. And so I just started generally just sharing about that on Snapchat and Instagram. And this was before Insta stories existed and I would just share recipes and um, I started getting, I started just sharing the, actually even before recipes, I was just sharing the food I was making and I started getting so many like texts and um, DMs and like questions on Snapchat about like, oh, what's the recipe to this? What's the recipe to that? And I actually hadn't written down any recipes and so it, became, it felt like a part-time job responding to everyone like we're like trying to remember recipes trying to write things out um so so much so that I was like you know what I'll just start a blog just so I can keep every everything there and it can be um so when people ask for recipes they can just find it on there and even for myself because I forget a lot of recipes that I make <laughs> and it'd be nice to remember some of them um some of the favorites so I just started the blog and that started to build such a community. Um, people would be asking for more recipes and asking questions on different things. And then I started writing about just different wellness topics and then also sharing about it on Instagram. And so I didn't even mean to form a community, but then the same people kept reaching out and I started to notice that I was forming a community and it was such a good feeling. And I felt like every day when I was posting recipe or sharing something, like I was showing up for people and like we are all in the same playing field. It's not like I was up here and everyone, these are my followers. It was like, oh, like we're all in this wellness journey together. And that's what made it so fun for me. And that's what spun kind of everything else from there. Podcasting is just a whole new world of a community that yeah. like, I love my podcast community. And then my skincare company, Clear Stem, the same thing. Like it's just built like all these, and a lot of the communities overlap. Um, but it's just, it's such a good feeling um, to just, to just feel like you have that, like you have that group of people, you have that tribe with you. Yes. So Kaylee and I, I want to pause because I want to yes. tell the story of ours after, but yes. um, Kaylee and I met at Perfect Bar. Yeah. <laughs> so Perfect we, Bar headquarters. We both got invited to like a tasting or something. Yeah. And um, it was before they came out with their chocolate bars and they were sampling all their chocolate bars, which was 
right up our alley. Um, and we ended up sitting next to each other. Funnier story, I had just started following her because you went to college with Courtney, right? Yeah. So she went to college with a girl that I got yoga certified with. And they somehow shared a photo and I had found Kaylee's blog and I was like, oh my God, she's so cute. And she's in San Diego. Like I totally have to meet this chick. So I just followed her like really randomly. Like I said, she shares recipes, super inspiring. So I followed her. Creepily, she's sitting next to me. <laughs> we go around the room and we tell our stories and she's like, hey, I'm Kaylee, blah, 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 tell their thing. And then I tell mine and after we get done, I'm like, I think I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, after it was all over, we, we stood in the parking lot after the event and talked for like 45 minutes yeah. about like life. And we yeah. had just met each other. And then I remember, the, and then we decided to get coffee the next week together. And we went and got coffee, and that's when Kira was like, I have this idea for Babes Who Sweat. It's good, like she hadn't even started it yet. You're like, I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be big. I want it to go national, like, it's gonna start in San Diego, but this is what's gonna happen. And so it's crazy that like, the, pretty much the second time we met, you told me about this, and here we are like two years later with this huge Babes Who Sweat community. It's been a dream for a while. So yeah. it's crazy, you guys, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> you can truly do whatever you want. You yes. just have to start somewhere. Yes. So it. it is insane. Anyways, I just had to throw that out there because people are always like, how do you find friends? And I'm like, well, that's why I built Babes Who Sweat. So you can literally come find your friends because yeah. it's not every day you go to Perfect Bar. And it's not every day that you find random friends online because that's how we met. Yeah. So I'll let you tell you about your story, what yeah. you do yeah. um, with community and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So let's do it. I think what's cool about what Kira just mentioned is it just takes one person to have an idea, right? I think a lot of times we think that we have to have this like grand plan and all of these people that get it, but you can inspire action just by being yourself, right? So um, my background is I actually worked in IT project management and engineering recruiting, and I had a great job that I loved, but I was lacking the fulfillment piece. And I had actually a great group of friends outside of work and everything in my personal life was great. But in my career, I was working in a predominantly male environment and I really had to be buttoned up because I was working with men that were 20 plus years older than me, totally opposite <laughs> of my real personality. Um, and because of that, I was really focused on my career and trying to prove myself. So on the side, I decided I wanna find more fulfillment. So I started this online coaching business totally as a side thing. Um, what happened is a lot of other women were also focused on their career. I wasn't like Kaylee in that I, didn't, I never shared recipes. I was really interested in just connecting with other women and us taking action in health and fitness in terms of our workouts and just getting energy and moving, right? Which is so in line with Kira's mission too. So it started with me um, and it turned into a 3,000 person team. So I have an online community that I love and I'm so grateful for because I think it's, it doesn't have to be um, the end game doesn't have to be in place, right? If you have something in your gut that's like, I kind of want to do this thing, start it. Because look what Kira's done with Babes Who Sweat and look what Kaylee's done with her skincare and her blog and look what I've done from a health and fitness online business that I didn't even mean to start, right? <laughs> so the cool thing about that too is I've actually from Seattle, moved to New York and I just recently moved to San Diego. And I actually found Kira um, by accident. She, her Babes Who Sweat, follow their Instagram. Here's the link, no. <laughs> but follow their Instagram. And I stumbled upon an event that she had, didn't know who she was, but I bought a ticket to the event because I was like, I need to build community, right? I'm new to this area, having moved from the East Coast, didn't know that many people in San Diego. I was like, this girl, I should probably be friends with this girl. Well, then here we are. I didn't, <laughs> I don't even know how it actually happened. I started attending Babes Who Sweat's event and I loved the mission behind it. And yeah, got to meet Kira and Kaylee. Yeah, so, I met here we Kate are. at one of the Babes Who Sweat yeah. events. I'm like, who is this girl with this amazing energy you can just like feel it when you're around her and when we met i'm like i gotta know this girl like she's yes. so awesome her energy so go is to just the like events. yeah like go you meet talk people. to strangers yeah despite what your parents told you when you're little talk to strangers <laughs> we're the right the kind of strangers you guys yeah. we're the right kind on so. the internet slide in the dms yeah. <laughs> that's how i find all my friends <laughs> so as you guys can tell, community means obviously the world to me, but yep. just as much to pretty much anyone, if you ever talk to any entrepreneur, no one has gotten there by themselves. And that's what I really want to share with this is it's not only just bringing in boss babes and talking about what they're great at and what they've done, but really that community that's gotten them there because again, no one gets anywhere alone. So this is about health and fitness. And yes. I do want to bring that in because yeah. that's what I like to talk about. And yes. that's what I'm passionate about. So I want them to give you guys a few tips just so they would tell their best friend. Like that's what this is all about is we're here, we're your community, you're our community. Like 
this is it. This is us. Like, this is what it's for. So we want to know your questions. That way I can continue to ask the right ones on here. Comment below and let me know what you guys want to know from these two. And I will have them on again. Duh. But for now, I want to know what your favorite way to stay in shape is. Like, what are your favorite workouts? Two, what are your favorite, like, healthy meal ideas or snack ideas, especially on the go? Because I know a lot of days that's, like, the hardest thing is, like, yeah. you're on the go and you're like, oh, my God, I don't know what to eat. And then yeah. you either don't eat or you grab something really bad and you feel bad later. <laughs> so who wants to go first? I can talk tips and then you talk healthy snacks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's more of a rally. Um, so in terms of, like, tips for me, what's always really helped is having a consistent thing that I don't have to think about. So if you don't know Mel Robbins, she's an author of this book called The Five Second Rule. And it's about when your alarm goes off, counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, like you're a rocket ship ready for takeoff. I love that concept every time my alarm goes off. I'm a rocket ship ready for takeoff. That's the perfect Um, explanation. Yeah. I'm like, we're doing it, let's go. (laughs) But the reason that it's helped is because I don't want my brain to have time to think about it. So I'm really big on morning routine and just getting something that is systematic that works for you that's fun but also doing things outside your comfort zone because that's how you're going to build community and that's how you're going to keep your body on its toes and changing so i'll go get my butt handed to me with kira's spin classes because like there's a ranking board and like i want to be number one she so, literally got first the first class she came to i was like she no kicked big deal. her own butt so, so hard. hard i almost fell off the bike i literally almost <laughs> died but the point is so i'm a big fan of structure to stay consistent so that you have that high energy but then changing it up because life is about spontaneity and meeting like meeting people and getting outside your comfort zone so my tip is find something that works for you that you can stay consistent with um i'm a big fan of morning routines if you say you're not a morning person it takes a little time to get your morning can be a morning person i was never a morning person and now i am now i'm waking up at like between either 4 30 or 5 30 every morning and i love it and i was and i used to be a night owl and like sleeping in until the last possible second so you can do it (laughs) you can totally do it so along with that structure five second thing You have to have that fun in there. And yeah. it, you called it like being spontaneous. Yep. I call it life because <laughs> here's the thing. It's never going to be the same day to day. And if you hold true on being an all or nothing person, like most type A, which yeah. is all three of us, I know. Um, if you have that routine and you're stuck in it, you're stuck in it. Yep. And I totally understand that. And that's great for when you're on it. But when you have a day that just like doesn't go your way and you throw it out the window, yeah. those are the days that matter way more than everything else you did. So here's what you need to do. <gasps> forget about it. Yeah. Seriously, great. forget about it. Like give yeah. yourself a break because it's the number one thing that I've seen in all my clients is as soon as they get that one day that's not perfect, they're like, fuck it. Yeah. And then they give up on whatever they're doing instead of, like you said, give yourself some grace go to a different workout. Do you know how many fitness studios are probably in your area that have a free first class or like 10 bucks? Try something new. Go to a pole dancing class. Go to like aerial yoga or some, I don't know, something weird. I do really want to do that. (laughs) Um, Boxing, whatever it is. There's so many fun things you can do or take a rest day, walk with your dog, be with your kid. Remember movement is all you need. You don't need a lot of crazy equipment. So side tangent, that's a perfect explanation to what I do though. Like I just look for different ways to find movement. I used to be so set on like, this is the workout routine I'm doing. I'm gonna make myself do it every single day. And then when it started not bringing me happiness and I wasn't looking forward to it anymore, I'm like, why would like, how's this gonna keep me motivated if I'm doing something that's not making me happy? And so like, I feel like every couple months, I don't even do this on purpose, but every couple months I end up like switching up my workout routine. And it's really just to keep me happy because I wanna be able to look forward to my movement every day. And so sometimes it's hiking, sometimes it's a, uh, killer renegade class. Sometimes it's a spin class. Sometimes it's literally non heated in the slowest meditative yoga ever, because that's more like my brain workout. And sometimes your best workout is slowing down too. So it's just about like listening to your body and finding out like, like what you personally need in doing that. And so, um, I go through just like ups and downs of changing up my workout routine, but always making sure it makes me happy though. For sure. But as far as eating tips, this is, this is my specialty here. Um, what I'm really, (laughs) what I'm really big on is making healthy eating convenient because big there's, 
amazing recipes out there um, that are alternatives, but sometimes they're like 20 ingredients. And every once in a while for me, it's, it's fun to make something like that. But to be honest, like those aren't my everyday meals because I don't have, I don't have time for it to cook for an hour and I don't have time to grocery shop for these like extensive lists. And, and I, like, it's like two of you, you're like, what yeah, the point? And I like keeping, yeah, and I like keeping, yeah, like keeping things budget friendly. Like I do eat like mainly organic. I buy superfoods and supplements. And so like, I, like I am spending money towards food. So I try not to just buy like tons of extra things all the time. So some key things, um, Costco is yes, my favorite. So with veggies, I am notorious for buying all these veggies, fresh veggies, and then a lot of them going bad because my week just gets busier than planned. And maybe I had to eat out or change up my routine, or maybe I'm just so exhausted. I throw something together, but Costco has frozen organic veggies that I really always 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 have in the fridge because an easy meal for me is just like throwing a bunch of veggies steaming or sauteing them up throwing like a tahini sauce on top um so chop, chop up like oh yeah <laughs> and if you don't if you don't have time to make like chicken or whatever your preferred meat is i'll buy like the true story chicken sausages which are really really clean and they're pre-cooked and i just like chop them up throw them with those veggies so that is literally a 10 minute meal yeah like, they also have at um if you eat fish, they have wild fish in cans. Yeah. Oh, yes. and I it's love that. oh my god, it's like twelve dollars for six mm -hmm. cans of salmon, like yeah. wild caught salmon. That is so I'll cheap. Do, I'll, yeah. do, I'll get the canned wild caught salmon, um, the canned like albacore tuna, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll do the Costco also does a bag of frozen pre-packaged um, wild salmon too. Mm -hmm. So I keep those in the freezer. Yeah easily steamable if you have an instant and then you pot, get some bitchin sauce yeah and put it on so top good. yeah so good. Bitchin sponsor us yeah. <laughs> so i'm all like I'm, I'm all about like if you can buy fresh ingredients do it i definitely like encourage that they are definitely the most nutrient dense but i'm also very realistic and with my lifestyle like it's not always realistic for me to be able to chop all these fresh veggies and not let them go bad and go to the grocery store every day and so like Honestly, fro organic frozen stuff, like high quality, is where it's at for the quick and easy meals. I like it. Um, but just keeping your meals centered around veggies, which include a lot of fiber, you really want fiber, um, some type of protein and some type of fat. If you're just really sticking to that, the carbs will come in naturally. Like you naturally, like, it's in almost like carbs are in veggies. And like every time you snack on something, it's like usually pretty high in carbs. So. I like I personally don't really focus on like needing to have a carb on my plate because it's usually there not planned like it's in the veggies yeah. it's in whatever if you're having sweet potatoes or squash like there's great carbs fruit. in those yeah fruit has a lot of carbs so um, I usually don't have like initial one I just let it be in there but yeah cool. those are some tips I like it so all about the convenience look in your yes. frozen se frozen section and then focus your plate around veggies fats and protein I like it we're very similar there yes. now I want to hear your tips so. Yeah. Keisha is not the holistic nutritionist, so let's yeah. hear her, because you are like ball of energy. So yeah. let's tell us where that is from. Yeah, I think I think for me, um, yes, I'm. I definitely am in agreement of what Kaylee just said um, in terms of veggies. A lot, a lot of veggies, but at the same time, I don't eat very complex things. Like my boyfriend is the person that cooks for us. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but what we do is we bulk buy. Like she said, Costco is what's up. So we will make a bunch of chicken breasts and then. Um, design them differently. Did you? That was a weird word. Design like coconut aminos. I was like, yeah, coconut aminos. Bitch and sauce. Sponsor us. Um, and something else to take chicken. Make a bunch of chickens with no nothing on them. You're thinking and season, then, by the way. I know, but seasoning. I seasoning. Did I say seasoning? Marinade. Design. 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 I literally imagined her drawing with ketchup. I designed my chicken, guys. <laughs> Get with it. It's 2018. Anyway. Okay. We're going to design chicken now. We're going to design chicken. Point is, I make it a I like to make things in bulk so that it's really easy to grab convenience to echo Kaylee, um, but then season it differently. So it feels like it's a different experience or design it however you want to. Um, so I work from home personally, so I'm not running around having to bring stuff with me. But for when I'm working with people that are, I'm like simple things that you can change up a little bit makes it so easy to stay consistent with your, with your eating. I'm big on consistency, but I'm also big on falling in love with the process, not what the process produces in life and business and fitness, where it's like, you're never going to be fun. happy with the result. Yeah. Ever. You're not make it, make it fun. Right. Like if you don't cook buy spaghetti squash, did you know you cut that thing in half and it's actually like noodles? You have to I mean, cook it though. You can't just okay. <laughs> you have to cook it. You can just flip it over it face down. I even in like four minutes. Yeah. So this is, yeah. And get a crock pot. 
Costco should sponsor us too. They're like thirty dollars at, Cro uh, at Costco. Costco should sponsor us. <laughs> So uh, Keisha's tips basically yeah. were to find what you like and then yeah. different ways you can enjoy it. So it's really easy for you. So if you really only know how to make chicken, design it <laughs> in different ways. That was my boyfriend when I first met him. He literally ate chicken, rice, and broccoli. Yeah. That's all he could cook. I had to teach the kid how to make mashed potatoes. She Joe, don't hate design. me. But uh, <laughs> I taught him how to design mashed potatoes. Um, anyways, that's basically all we have for you guys today. This is seriously my dream come true of just being able to share boss ladies that I love with you guys. And in any way, shape or form, like we want to be able to help you. So please let me know if you guys have questions, what you want to see from me, what different types of workouts you want, because none of these videos are going to be the same. The whole point of this is to just bring you guys boss babes from all over the country, real and raw and ready Covered to get sweaty. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like dirty, dirty and sweaty. <laughs> But that is it. Do you guys have anything else you want to say or share? No, this is awesome. We're so proud of Kira and everything she's accomplished. Subscribe yeah. and leave comments because that's how we're going to be able to put this out for you. Kira yes. is kicking butt. Yes, and if you are any brand out there that wants to work with us, the whole goal of this is to build the community nationwide. So we are looking for tons of sponsors for this web series. So if you want to be a part of it, if you have anything to do with health, fitness, wellness, or if you were just an awesome boss babe and you would like to be featured or no one who would like to be featured, let me know because I need people to sweat with. So yes. that is it. We will talk to you guys soon. Bye babes. Bye.